Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another FIFA 21 video where today we're going to be discussing something and it is a very important question that I got asked about two days ago. I came up against this experience from this viewer who came to ask me about some custom tactics that I'd made and it was basically regarding some tactics that he'd been given by a pro player who had gone 30 and 0. <clears throat> now some background on this story was that this guy was looking for some tactics he just built a great team you know obviously team of the season he built a really fun team and he wanted to find some tactics for a four triple two formation that worked really well and he came across a pro who gave him some tactics uh, on a video he went to find the video and the video gave him the tactics and long story short they didn't go very well they didn't work very well for him and he ended up you know upset that his team wasn't playing well and it wasn't doing well and this raised the question for me that i've been asked quite a few times this year about pro players and their tactics compared to, for example, someone like myself. Now, not for a second am I saying that my tactics are superior or anybody else's. Everybody's tactics work differently for different people. Some people use my tactics and they're not very good and they don't work very well for them and they hate them. And other people use them and think they're brilliant and vice versa when it comes to pro tactics and things like that. The big difference between, for example, my tactics, for example, the 4 triple two that I use, these are the tactics that I use. And long story short, the way this guy got his tactics given to him was they were actually separate from the video. Now, the video showed the tactics. I've seen the screenshots that he, he sent me and he showed me the video and I found the video uh, on who sent him the tactics. And basically, the, 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 the tactics were something like this. Uh, this was on long ball. This was on balance. He was on three depth. And then when it goes to the instructions, the two strikers were on stay forwards, getting behind. They were on uh, balanced width. And then moving backwards, the fullbacks, of course, were on stay back while attacking. The DMs were on stay back while attacking. And then even the wide cams were on comeback on defense. So a very, very defensive setup in the way it was set up. This was what was given to him via what was different from what was in the video. And basically, to, to sum up, custom tactics via a pro won't work for the average player. Now, my reasoning for you, for example, staying away from pro tactics is because the way a pro has to play and the way his tactics are set up set up because of the caliber of opponent he has to play against now fifa at the top top tier versus fifa at the normal level is extremely different now my tactics generally are built for the average fifa player hence why you've seen with my with my custom tactics how how my tactics are they're on seven depth you will never find a pro's tactics where he plays really higher than three or four depth because at the top end of fifa you can play you know these guys are so good that they can play more defensive and they can still be you know attacking and offensive because you look at any pro tournaments they're all playing really low depth they're all playing everyone on comeback on defense because they're playing for money they can't afford to lose so they play very defensive and very much just play on the counter you know, whereas you can see my tactics, we play on super high depth. We play on fast build, we play on a really high width. You can see our, our fullbacks, we're playing with them on balance. You would never find pro tactics that have these sorts of tactics with them because pro tactics are designed for more of a negative and defensive style of play. And that's kind of what you need at the top end of FIFA. Whereas in the mid tier of FIFA, like for example, a lot of my tactics are built for the average FIFA player, the masses. You know, so people who are gold three, gold two, gold one, elite three. If you're a top 100 player, an elite one player, my tactics won't work well for you because they're not built for that. Like I said, the style of play that you have to play at the top end of FIFA, it's very, very different to the style of play for the majority of us. Again, my 4 4 one, one custom tactics, you can see, again, really high depth, fast build up, 10 on the width. You know, the way that we set our tactics up is a lot more attacking than pros. And it's not to say that pro tactics, not me slowing on people who the pros that make their tactics, they work well for them, but they work for a very specific audience. So anyone who is looking for custom tactics, I wouldn't recommend copying pro tactics unless you are a very high skill player. If you're an elite one player, elite two player, you know, top 100 player, then for sure, go and copy pro tactics because your style, the way you probably play FIFA to get elite one, to get top 100, is probably quite negative. It's probably quite defensive because I can't imagine that you will play. I'm sure there'll be exceptions to the rule as there always are, but I can't imagine that you'll be the sort of person who will play, you know, press on possession loss and then play a really high depth and just play really attacking 
and really fun. You'll probably play a very negative style of FIFA. You'll probably abuse lots of mechanics. Um, hence why the pro tactics, when they go, when they put, you know, pro, any pro who puts a, a pro uh, a custom tactics that are 30-0 and, and, and they go 30-0 and with these tactics and whatnot, it doesn't work out well for the majority of people because the way you have to play with those custom tactics doesn't really you know translate to the way that you play fifa so you make sure when you're looking for custom tactics and it's not to say that my tactics are better or anybody else's there is no best person at it at the end of the day when it comes to tactics it's all about how you implement them and that's where it's come full circle because again if you're not good enough to implement a pro's tactics they'll come across being really really bad so long story short with this lad i gave him my custom tactics for my four triple two these exact ones that i use he went away, he used them for a bit, and I've been in conversation with him ever since, and he's ha he's having loads of fun with them, and they're working work, working really, really well for him uh, compared to the, the pros tactics that are given him. And it's not to say that the pros tactics are worse, it's not to say that my tactics are better, it's just to say for his skill level, he is a goal two player, this lad who was looking for the tactics. So the way a pros tactics set up won't work for a goal two, a goal three, a goal one player because they're designed to be a bit more defensive. And one of the criticisms that he had of these tactics that he was given was that it was very defensive and he couldn't really score any goals. And that was because the tactics, as we saw at the start of the video, they were really low on the depth. Everybody was on comeback on defense except the two strikers were on stay forwards. So the team was set up super, super defensive that again, unless you're a really high skilled player, you're not going to be able to have that defensive shape and still create a chances and opportunities with maybe only two or three players at the top end of the pitch. I gave him my tactics and he's had lots of fun ever since, scoring lots and lots of goals. So if you are someone that's looking for custom tactics, I'm not necessarily suggesting that you shouldn't watch pros, you should just watch me or you should just watch someone else. You watch whoever you want, you use whatever tactics you want, but you have to be mindful of when you are choosing tactics um, and who to copy that as well just copying tactics doesn't work it's always a good thing to, to use someone else's tactics and then adjust it for your play style and fit it for your play style but i tend to build my tactics for the masses for what the average fifa player needs because at the end of the day it is not building not about building tactics and making videos for just a very specific audience i want to make content that you know reaches out to lots of different people and generally i've had very good feedback from you guys on our tactics of course there are some people who don't like them and that's absolutely fine as well. It's just about finding the tactics that work best for you and for your play style and making sure you get the right ones to get the best out of your team, to get the best experience for yourself. So make sure when you are looking for things, you are looking for things that are going to suit you and just think about what tactics and, and players and stuff like that. Make sure you do go and try stuff out yourself and just tinker with it and uh, that will give you the best experience. But that is it for today's video, guys. So it's just kind of a sum up of an experience that I had recently. Just a question that I've had quite a lot this year regarding tactics regarding obviously mine and some other people so that would be my take on it so like i said not to to hate on on pros and, and what they do they are f exceptional players and, and they do incredible things and they're much better players than me it's just that their tactics are very specific to them and players of their caliber not necessarily the general uh, fifa audience but that is it for today's video guys so if you did enjoy do subscribe make sure you drop a like as well if you did enjoy the video but that is all today guys have an awesome day I'm out.